good morning. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a great joy and privilege once again to be here live on Facebook and YouTube to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord that everyone is in good health and happiness regardless of the situation. As I always say to beloved and friends, Jesus is, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world. It's not awesome. It's not great. It's not mighty that we have the assurance that God promised to be with us in every situation, in every situation circumstances, every trial, and every testing, in Jesus' name. Welcome this morning. Let's give a hand to you. Hallelujah. Those of you are listening to me live this morning from your living room, from your dining room, from your kitchen, from your car, from your office, from church, on the street with your phone, right here this morning, God bless you richly. Praise God. I know that God has a tremendous blessing in store for you this morning. Hallelujah. Today I have to preach a little fast because uh, I have to attend the funeral. You know, one of um, uh, course from the village died and I call him Uncle Lenny. He's a very nice man. Hallelujah. I want to extend my deepest uh, heartfelt condolences and sympathy to the bereaved family, all the Albert family. His name is uh, um, Lennox Albert. I call him Uncle Lenny. And today is a funeral at 3. 3 p.m. today, praise God. But you know, this man is a very good man. In fact, he was a carpenter contractor for this building. I'm standing here in today, a uh, very good contractor and businessman, and he died at age 75. But one time, we all have to go, amen? And, but the most important thing that we have to make sure our life is right with God. But all of us have weaknesses. I know he was a smoker, but I know that God loved him very much. Uh, and he was repented of that and he made it to heaven. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome this morning in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want to, to tell you, my friends, uh, that God has a tremendous blessing for you this morning. And God will bless you tremendously. Those who are listening to me this morning, I want to release a blessing upon your life. Uh, I pray that God will bless your family, bless your home, bless your children, bless you on the job. Bless your business and bless, bless you in divine health and happiness and prosperity and satisfaction, my friends and beloved. Hallelujah. God loves you very much this morning. Hallelujah. My friends, I know many are watching this morning, those who are watching this morning, and if you have cancer, you have AIDS, you have COVID, you have diabetes, you have a heart problem, a liver problem, a, a dialysis problem. My friends, if you're blind, you're dumb, you're deaf, you're lame, what the case may be, if you're suffering from depression, oppression, frustration, anxiety. My friends, if the doctors have given you up and say you only have a few days to live or a few weeks to live, but I'm here to tell you, you will not die. God will reverse that. You will not die. You will live to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny because the hands of of God is upon your life. Hallelujah. God hand is upon your life and you will live to fulfill purpose and calling a destiny. Those who are demon possessed this morning and cannot sleep in the night. Demons are harassing you in every area of your life. He is harassing you physically, spiritually, socially, materially, financially. I'm here to tell you that God will not break those evil forces of darkness against your life. Every blacks against your life. Every generation curse that it come against you I break in the name of Jesus every curse and every evil that is sent against you every spirit of witchcraft and obia and demonic forces and evil I destroy under the precious blood and I break because there is power in the name of Jesus for the blood of Jesus is so efficacious and the blood of Jesus is so powerful the blood of Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Hallelujah. My friends, Jesus Christ was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes. We are here. I am here. You are here. We are here this morning in Jesus' name. Let's give a big hand this morning. Hallelujah. He took it all. Hallelujah. He took it all, my friends. Hallelujah. The thief committed, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Christ comes that we might have life and life more abundantly. Oh. <coughs> oh. 
God wants you to walk in a divine health and prosperity this morning oh father i pray you dip me in the river of liquid fire of the holy spirit anoint my lips anoint my tongue anoint my voice as i send forth the anointing of the holy spirit many will be healed many will save many will deliver many will bless and many will come to know thee as lord god and savior for god has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, to set the captives free, to heal the sick and raise the dead and make the lame walk and blind see. There is a tremendous anointing of God's Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus this morning. He says, a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come neither thy wedding. Get ready. Get ready, my friends. Get ready, beloved. Get ready, people, to receive your healing from the hands of God. Are you ready this morning? I'm going to send for that anointing. I know because of the COVID, many are not attending church. Many are at home. But I want to tell you, God is no respect of person. And distance is no barrier. You're going to receive your healing right in your home, right on the street with your phone, right in your living room, your dining room, your kitchen, your hall, or the or church, or right here. God is going to touch you and set you free. Are you ready in Jesus' name right now? Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit. I see many are healed. Many are saved. Many are delivered. Many are set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil. And every work of darkness is not awesome. Many who are possessed, demons have fled this morning. Demons have gone this morning. You are free this morning. You will sleep well in the night. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a big hand this morning. Hallelujah. He is awesome. He is great. He is mighty, my friends. Because of time, I feel that anointing. And I know without any shadow of a doubt, God has healed you. Hallelujah. And I want to thank God for the healing this morning. Because of time, I can call out. I will not call out your sicknesses and pain and disease what God has you from this morning but write me text me call me and let me know what God has done for you my friends and beloved let's give a big hand again for you we are serving a healing God we are serving a loving God because the first covenant he made with man was the covenant of healing hallelujah isn't that awesome hallelujah God wants you. God loves you my friends and God will release you from every evil and every every negative word spoken against you hallelujah will be broken this morning in Jesus name I know many people have sent curses uh, against people and speak evil against them. Many people are walking witchcraft and phobia against people and damaging their finances, uh, damaging their family life, uh, damaging them and causing blights and destruction and so many different things in their lives but my friends and beloved i know today is your day of victory today is your day of release today god will set you free from every evil and every work of darkness in jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name hallelujah my friends and beloved hallelujah if if you are feeling worn down from all the negative words my friends people have spoken against your life this morning hallelujah against you over the years my friends i want you to know that you my friends are loved this morning you are valued this morning you are treasured this morning hallelujah in the eyes of almighty god hallelujah now i like to address some that a lot of people silently struggle with and my friends this is all to do with the wounds inflicted by others other people my friends words words inflicted some of you have had people speak and wish you negative things over your life over your life some have had people speak down on them hallelujah other people have spoken to you with no respect no consideration about your feelings this morning or how that words will impact you this morning my friends some of you may have even had people people speak evil over you evil over you and this is you hallelujah if you have been on the receiving end of some of ill spoken words this morning or hurtful and evil words my friends and beloved i want you to know this morning that at the end of this the day when when all is said and done when all is said and done that will stand to be true hallelujah in the world 
of in the word of God what will stand to be correct my friends is the word is the word of God that stands to be undeniable this morning is the word of the living God the word of the Lord the grass with withers and the flowers feed hallelujah but what stands forever my friends and beloved is the word of god let's give him a big hand hallelujah. so i do this here this morning if you if anyone's ever cursed you or spoken evil upon you or said some things that were aimed to hurt you and discourage you my friends and beloved what I want you to know is that God word has the final say over your life hallelujah not people not people God word is what will last hallelujah not people this morning hallelujah and hear me when I say this this morning God's word God words has the ultimate power and ultimate authority to overcome and dismiss every evil every evil and negative word spoken to you hallelujah and so I want you to rewire your mind this morning through God's word my friends begin to find out what the Lord says about the Bible hallelujah because as you research your identity in the Christ Jesus you will find that the word of God says that you are a friend of Jesus Christ just read John chapter 15 verse 15 the Bible says my friends and beloved hallelujah I no longer call you servants I no longer call you servants I call you my friends I know this business hallelujah I have called you friends instead I've called you friends for everything I've learned from my father I have made known I've made known to known to you for everyone who has called you weaker weaker I want you to know that the word of God in Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 tells us it says this morning hallelujah it says this morning hallelujah that you can do all things through Christ who strengthen you Christ hallelujah you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you my friends hallelujah for everyone who has ever said that you will never accomplish anything you will never overcome that difficulty my friends I want you to know the God that the God God's word in Romans chapter 8 verse 37 tells us in all things we are more than conquerors through him that loves us let's give him a big hand this morning hallelujah hallelujah for everyone who has ever said let a misfortune follow you or bad things only happen to you my friends well I want you to know that God's word in Psalms 23 verse 6 says forever surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life hallelujah all the days of your life since what I'm trying to get to, to is that the Bible says the Bible says so much about you my friends and beloved it speaks about your identity in Christ this morning so don't listen to the negative words people may spoke over your life hallelujah pay no mind to any evil words spoken against you because God's words has ultimate power ultimate power and in his word you will find out that you are protected you are protected you are cared for you are not uh, forsaken hallelujah and you are certainly certainly loved because Jesus Christ uh, laid down his life uh, laid down his life uh, for you hallelujah my friends uh, this morning hallelujah now I like to highlight something this morning about one particular man in the Bible my friends uh, Acts chapter 13 verse 22 tells us uh, don't condemn people describe him as a man after God's own heart after God's own heart imagine that that imagine being described as a man or woman my friends who was after the very heart of God Almighty hallelujah now my friends you think such a person is perfect right is not so you will think that David was squeaky clean and didn't fall, uh, 
didn't fall victim to some of impulse we we do David we know David as a man after God's own heart he couldn't possibly have a sin but let me tell you could he my friends this morning if he didn't it must have been being a small mis mistake oh hallelujah but my dear friends this morning even the greatest heroes of the Bible the greatest hero of the Bible have their own battles even against Bible characters we are known and are reference and have made their fair share of mistakes my friends let let's take a look at some of the error this morning in David's life judgment my friends in 2nd Samuel chapter 12 verse 9 the prophet Nathan came to rebuke David. He came to rebuke David and said, Why have you despised the word of the Lord? Why have you despised? Why did, did what evil did, in, did evil in the sight? You have uh, stopped down Uriah, the Hittite wife, with a sword. You have taken his wife uh, to be your wife. Uh, and the prophet says, And have killed him with the sword of the Amor Amorites. Uh, my friends, uh, so David murdered a man. David bordered a man so that he could be with his wife. Can you imagine that? But uh, my friends, don't the, the, the Ten Commandments says you shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not uh, not covet your neighbor's wife. Uh, my friends, David violated all of these commandments. He violated all the commandments. He lost after Bathsheba, and then he committed adultery with her my friends and then and then he entrusted her husband will be killed my friends but but this is the man who was described as being after God's own heart isn't it my friends let me tell you now Psalms 51 Psalms 51 in David's prayer of repentance, a repentance after he had sinned, after he had sinned, he come before God to repent, he come before God to repent, here are just a few words from Psalms 51 so that you can gauge, gauge the depth of David's conviction after sinning my friends and pay attention to the sincerity, to the sincerity, pay attention to the choice of words this morning, hallelujah, the deeper expression in his words my friends what he says in verse 1 and 2 says hallelujah I have mercy have I have say have mercy on me O God according to your steadfast love hallelujah according to your abundant mercy according to your abundant mercy blot out my transgressions wash me thoroughly for my iniquity for my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin cleanse me from my sin verse 10 to 12 says it says create in me a clean heart O God O God and renew a right spirit within me hallelujah and cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me restore to me the joy of your salvation this is the prayer of David and of Paul being with a willing spirit, with a willing spirit, I have found Psalms 51 to be incredibly inspiring, my friends. Hallelujah. And in fact, this morning, I've made it a practice. I've made it a practice to pray uh, based from this chapter, my friends, and show the example that David provides when it comes, when it comes to a believer, a believer falling in sin and making a mistake. The lesson here is is that a believer can fall into sin a fall into sin but they will not stay in sin hallelujah a believer can make a mistake it can make a mistake but they will not keep making the same mistake my friends a believer can do wrong a believer can do wrong have a weak moment but they will not remain doing wrong they will not remain doing wrong and wallow in the pit of sin my friends I hear you this morning this is a difference this is a difference this is where God affords us grace grace this morning and when we fall but really but really 
really wholeheartedly repent and turn away from that sin my friends and beloved hallelujah what do you do when everything seemingly puts you puts up a fight against you when everything seems like a struggle a struggle have you ever had that feeling where every time you think about uh, you're on the right track uh, or on the right path uh, here comes something that comes uh, here, here comes temptation here comes sin trying to derail you and knock you off the right path hallelujah my friends have you ever ever had one of those days where there is just a fight my friends where everything is a fight your your journey to work seems like it's a struggle you get to work and it's hostile that day my friends you get home and something expected happened an unexpected letter an unexpected bill my friends and something upset you I have days wherein I have strong days where I feel as though I can mount up with wings as an eagle days where I did pray and feel as though I could touch the gates of heaven my friends 10 minutes will go by and 20 minutes will go by and I will still feel as though I'm getting started my friends I'm here to tell you these are the days I feel like a giant slayer my friends I feel like empowered by the Holy Spirit by God the Holy Spirit but then but then my friends there are other days <clears throat> there are other days where, where if you try to pray it feels like I'm next to a brick wall and, and, and my words are just bouncing off and going nowhere you have you ever had a day where everything is a struggle my friends it's a fighter it's a fighter it's a fighter so try to read the word but that becomes a fighter you try to read it you try to pray but that too close to be a fighter my friends but you but put some worship music on and you will still be fighting what do you do what do you do my friends and beloved there are days where I feel as though surely goodness God cannot forgive me again my friends here you know the kind of days where you feel weighed down you feel weighed down you feel as though sin has left a stain a mark on you that that cannot be removed my friends hallelujah let's seek out our santo you've been through days where i felt as though god would want to save someone like me with all my issues with my drinking problem with my smoking problem i sin i struggle with it i believe that david experienced these days like the quite often he must have because if you read psalms 18 Verse 6, hallelujah, the Bible says, in my distress, in my distress, I call upon the Lord. In my God, to my God, I cry for help for his temple. He heard my voice, my friends, and my cry to him reaches his ears. My friends, it reaches ears. That's a man who's been going through things. Have you been going through things? David does on four in Psalms 27, verse 7 says, Hey, hear me, O Lord. Hear me, O Lord, when I cry aloud. Hear me. Be gracious to me. Be gracious to me and answer me dear God and the question I always had was my friends why is David crying to God so much hallelujah why is that so often in the Psalms my friends David speak of crying out to the Lord he always cried to the Lord, but as I grew in maturity, as I grew in an understanding, I, it became clear to me, my friends, that many of us, like David, hallelujah, hallelujah, we will, we will face things beyond the ability to solve. We will face situation we cannot do nothing about that except to simply try and endure this morning. But in this it's issue of struggling with sin that I want to talk about this morning, I am glad that the Bible says in Romans chapter 7 verse 15, For I do not understand, I do not understand my own actions, I do not know what to do, I want, but, but the, the very thing, the very thing I hate, <clears throat> 
And then Romans chapter 7 verse 18 says to 19 says, uh, and then he says, for I know that nothing good dwells in me that is in my flesh, in this flesh, my friends, for I have the desire to do what is right, but not the ability, not the ability to carry it out, for I do not do the good I want, but the evil I do not want, I hear me, is what it keep on doing, I keep on doing, it's astonishing what the Apostle Paul, the Apostle Paul says, hallelujah, what he says, a servant of the Lord a man who God performed miracles through. Hallelujah. He is opening up about his struggles with sin, my friends and beloved. The same struggle with sin that I face. Hallelujah. He says he must have had his good days. He must have had good days. But then he was strong and couldn't cast out demons in the name of Jesus. Or so lay hands on the sick and heal them. But this very same Paul also had bad days my friends where he felt like he took one step forward and two step backwards my friends listen to me this morning but there is a thing this morning the thing proverbs 24 verse 16 tells us hallelujah for the righteous fall seven times and raise up again hallelujah but the wicked stumble in times <clears throat> of calamity hallelujah <clears throat> <clears throat> You see, my friends, you see, though we struggle with sin, we can only overcome. We can only overcome in Jesus. Let's give him a big hand. Hallelujah. Though we fall, we can only get back. We can only get back up with the help of the Lord God Almighty. Though we may indeed stumble this morning, it is in Jesus, my friends, that we have steady grown this morning. We have steady grown. Only in Jesus, you have steady grown. So if if you fall, you can rise up because if you put your trust in Jesus, only in Jesus, you have steady ground this morning. Let's give him a big hand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My friends, hallelujah. Praise God, my friends. God can help you in this flesh. You cannot please God. No matter how hard you try, you will sin against the Lord. That is why God says, when we are saved, He sent His Holy Spirit to live in us, live in us and abide in us, because we cannot please God in the flesh. And the Holy Spirit is the one that helps us to overcome sin and to live a pure and righteous life and pleasing in the sight of God. My friends, it has been a joy and great privilege to be here this morning to minister the word of God. I'll make sure I listen back to this message. I felt something about this message and I want you to listen to this message. God bless you richly. Do have a wonderful day. God bless you richly. I'll see you tomorrow in the precious name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus.